you mentioned my father earlier. I want to shout out my doofus dad because uh, I found <laughs> out on the phone yesterday, TJ. <laughs> I cannot believe this, man. So my dad told me yesterday that – have I talked about the, the – the, that I, I, I've i mentioned how he lacerated his kidney, right? I, ta- I told that story on the show, or did I not? I, this happened This happened within the last year. He – he, uh, I was p- playing pickleball with him, and I and I dropped a. I thought I told it on the show, but if not, apologies if if I've told this a million times. But um, yeah, not too long ago, Dad, and, uh, my mom has gotten really into pickleball, like a lot of people have, and uh, there's like a they live in this uh community that's uh not a retire, not like an old folks community, but also the way I describe it sounds like an old folks community. It's basically just like a housing development that's like all for people that are a little older. But yep. at the same time, I think I just described like a, like a It's nursing. like a 55 and up neighborhood or something. 55 and up neighborhood. Uh, and they have a clubhouse. And at the clubhouse, there are a bunch of pickleball courts. And they are just a hot item at this at this community. It's just like what all the, the you know, the, the pool is untouched. The Everything else is, every amenity is untouched. But the pickleball, you got to sit there and wait. It's like Rucker Park in its heyday, you know. Like everyone's waiting to get the next run in at this pickleball court. So I'm visiting my parents. And my mom has really gotten into it. My mom's an athlete. She's a Purdue legend. Uh, loves being competitive. Competitive. My mom's really gotten into pickleball. She's schooling all the old dudes in her community at pickleball. She's she's really fucking good at it, unsurprisingly. My dad, as is most things, uh, if my mom is good at something, my dad doesn't want to do it. My dad's like, I don't want my wife to be better than me at this, so I'm just not going to do it. My dad plays zero pickleball, has no interest in it whatsoever. Um, but my girlfriend and I were visiting. Uh, this was this was in November, last November. We're visiting my parents. My mom wants to teach us how to play pickleball. She's like, have you guys ever played? I was like, no. And she's like, you got to get in on this. It's so fun. So we obviously, she needs a fourth. It's it's the two of us and my mom. And then my mom turns to my dad and is like, Bill, you're going to have to play with us because we need a fourth. So dad's like, fine, I'll, I'll play this stupid game. And because so many old people play pickleball, TJ, I thought that this was a game that like athleticism – and agility doesn't really benefit you that much it's more of a skill-based game it's more of like a just like ping pong standing on the court you know um so i was going a little hard just in terms of like trying to like place the ball down the line and trying to like you know instead of just hitting it over the net i was like trying to be a little cute with where i was putting the ball because i was like this is this is not a this is not a game where uh, uh, surely a man's not going to slip and fall and lacerate his kidney playing this game. That's that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> boy, to my surprise, not too long after we started, I put a little drop shot over the net, a little <laughs> little backspin on it, you know, drop it right over the net. Uh, Dad goes to plant to like go attack the ball. His foot slips out from under him and just falls. He hits it like just the right angle that his kidney basically like just fucking explodes. We have to rush him to the emergency room. It's like this this horrifying thing. Like he's in he's he's like an old school Midwest as everyone who who listens to the show knows. Like he's just like a he's a dude that doesn't go to the hospital. His head could be hanging halfway off his his neck, and he'd be like, "I'm fine. Just put a little dirt on it." This man is like screaming in agony and like, "Get me to the hospital now!" Um, it was that serious. And long story short, he, he he's on the mend for like seven or eight months. Um, can't do much of anything. Can't lift his grandkids. Can't do like he's he cannot do anything. He's he just he, he's told the doctor said do not do a, a damn thing. Um, you can walk around the neighborhood and that's it, right? So Father's Day he gets cleared to do activities again, which is basically just like golf. Like the doctor's just basically like let's take it easy. Let's just golf. Um, don't don't get crazy with this. Uh, but yeah, you can now start introducing some more physical activity into your life. So he starts golfing a little bit more. Uh, I'll get to the point now, TJ. This man, I talked to him on the phone yesterday. He said, uh, I go, what are you doing? He goes, I'm just sitting here icing my knee. And I said, what, what are you icing your knee? Like, what happened? Did you like hurt it golfing or what? And he goes, he goes, oh, I didn't tell you. And I go, no. And he goes, yeah, I tore my meniscus two weeks ago. And I said, what? <laughs> I go, how did you tell you? I was like, golfing? Because again, I'm working under the assumption the only thing he's really doing is golfing. He loves to golf. I was like, yeah. There's, or is it fishing? Were you golfing or fishing? Those are the only things that I know that you do. And he goes, well, I took your niece, uh, his his granddaughter. He goes, I I, I took your niece to uh, to a trampoline park. <laughs> oh my god! And I go, no, no, you didn't. And he goes, 
Yeah, so she's out there bouncing around. She goes, Papa, come bounce on the trampoline with me. And I was like, Dad, you did not do this. And he goes, No. He goes, I, I was fine. And I was like, I was like, You were fine? He goes, Yeah, yeah, I was fine. He's like, I was out there bouncing. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm getting a good bounce in. You know, we're bouncing around and <laughs> she's doing flips and I'm bouncing with her and everything's fine. And I was like, Oh, okay. So what's the problem? And he goes, Well, the problem is I'm walking to the restroom and I see that they have a basketball goal and a basketball laying on one of the trampolines. <laughs> and I just go, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I go, no. And I'm just like, I'm like horrified. I just keep going, no. Like as he, as he tells the rest of the story, I'm just going, no, 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 no. And he goes, Mark, it was the same trampoline I was just jumping on. I looked at it. It looked to be the exact same trampoline. When I was jumping with your niece, I was getting some air. I looked at the ball. I looked at the rim. I thought, I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> And this man, he tried to go slam ball on him. This man literally just like almost died playing pickleball of all things. <laughs> Gets cleared by the doctors, and the first thing he does goes to a trampoline park and tries to slam ball at 66 years old. That's insane. So now he's got a torn meniscus, and I'm at the point I don't even feel bad for him anymore. I, that's, I was just laughing at his face. I was like, I felt bad for the pickleball thing because I was kind of responsible. I put the shot over the net, you know, and kind of yeah. made him fall. I don't feel bad at all for this thing. Like this is this is insane. So shout out to my doofus dad. Um, I'm not gonna have him on the show for a while, but when he comes back, uh, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll make a note to be sure to uh, to bring that up. But I don't trampoline know. park should have a max age of like 15. Mm -hmm. Once you get over that, like Jabba Chamberlain destroyed his ankle while he yeah. was a pitcher on the Yankees, a professional athlete. He blew his ankle through the skin out of his leg in front of his it's, kids like the, the adults should just shouldn't be on trampoline you're absolutely right especially not adults that just recovered from a right. lacerated kidney and <laughs> are a little on the older side so anyway shout out my doofus dad